Hello. In this lesson, we will look at creating folders and subfolders using File Explorer with Windows 10. File Explorer is activated on the taskbar at the end of your desktop. Click the left mouse button to activate. As we saw in the previous lesson, our starting point is Documents. This allows us to look at the documents already contained on this PC on the hard drive. Also, the arrow to the left allows us to open or close that list of subfolders in the navigation pane. I will add a new folder now called Accounts. To do this with Documents Select, I click the new folder icon on the ribbon. This opens up the text new folder in blue. I just simply start typing the new folder name, which replaces that with the required folder name. Pressing enter will accept that name. You now see that this new folder is in alphabetical order under the name document. If you wish, you can now press the pause button at this point and go to File Explorer on your computer and activate Documents to try adding your first folder. When you come back, you can press the Resume button to continue with the lesson. OK, at this point, we will add a second folder named Invoices. Again, with Documents selected, I click on New Folder, and again, the text opens up in blue, and I simply input the required name for this folder. Pressing Enter accepts the new folder name. Again, you will see it has been added in alphabetical order, under the folder names under documents. Again, we can open or close that folder list depending on which way the arrow is pointing. If you'd like to press the pause button and add your second folder at this point, remember to return and press the resume button to continue with the lesson. OK, at this point, I am now going to create three subfolders under the folder named Accounts. So I, with Accounts selected, I'm going to add a folder for January, February and March to that, to that folder. With Accounts selected, I click New Folder. I will put in the folder name abbreviated to JAN. I press enter to select it. Again, I press new folder. I enter February as the next folder name and press enter to select it. Again, I press new folder and I put in the name March or MAR abbreviated and press enter. With account selected on the left hand side, it will show you its subfolders on the right hand side. If I press the arrow on the in the left hand pane, again I see the subfolder structure under that folder name. Pressing documents closes down the full folder list. This sort of navigation will become very important in later functions. So again, activate your folder list. If you want to see the subfolders, click on the left button. To close that subfolder list, click on the arrow again. If I want to see the subfolder for WP Documents, click on the arrow 
select the folder you wish to look at and its contents will be contained on the right hand side. This window here is showing you the directory path for the documents you're looking at. In a later lesson, we will look at how to save files to your folder structure. Thank you.